Hey guys, here's one that was on the back burner for a while, because I just wanted to like, uh, kind of do a good showcase of these, but um, it's been a few years actually. I think these are from a garage sale kind of, that was kind of set up by some comic dudes back in, I want to say 2019 or 2020, but um, a few years ago, I think it was like 2018, I had a really good garage sale haul. This one might beat it, uh, let me know, because there's some stuff in here, you know, for me, um, I always want to showcase stuff that has like good writing, good art, as we'll be doing in this. But uh, there's also stuff in here that um, is a good value, I think. Uh, I think I mainly paid about a dollar each for these two. Um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, just about a dollar each for these. There was a comics group that had a post on there saying that a bunch of guys had like a ton of uh, long boxes. And yeah, that's what it was. It was a garage filled with long boxes, not like floor to ceiling or anything, but just like spread out, you know, on tabletops and stuff that you could uh, neatly look through. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, Com Gotham by Gaslight, the again, Brian August and Michael Mignola, um, Batman versus uh, Jack the Ripper kind of thing, kind of gothic before Hellboy Mike Mignola. Chamber of Chills, a lot of horror anthologies in here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going, though. <laughs> I bookmarked these a long time ago, um, but not uh, not in preparation for this. This is going to be kind of cold and fast. Conan the Barbarian Red Nails. This is a collection of the first uh, story arc from Marvel, uh, Barry Windsor Smith. Some early Conan. Conan the Barbarian number 17. Number 19. Oh, here's Crypt of Shadows number 13. Horror anthology. I have this bookmarked. Let's see what for. Let's take a little look here. Okay, yeah. Story by Stan Lee, art by Steve Ditko. <laughs> I guess some kid was trying to make fun of uh, maybe somebody he knew, maybe a sibling or a classmate or something. Lisa Shirley, it says. I guess he's trying to make fun of her. A monster. Yeah, um, these reprint a lot of old stuff a lot of the time, too. Dark, Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion, number 14. Oh, and I want to say, there were a lot of um, these horror anthologies, but I kept it to, like, tw being on a budget, I just kept it to 20 cent cover price and under, because I know those are... Not only are they more valuable, but they're often, like, better. Um, they're more, like, serious and, like, s actually, like, horror, rather than uh, comedy or anything like that. So, Forbidden Tales of Dark Magic number 14. This might be a good value. Strange Adventures, number 214, with an early Dead Man story in it. I think Mint, this is, uh, worth some money, but this is probably in, like, good shape. Dead Man, number six. This is uh, part of a two-parter by, um, I forget the first name of Vance, but also Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. And this is a good little uh, story arc here. Fear, number nine. These reprint some old stuff as well. Ghosts, number 11. Yeah, these early issues of Ghosts can be quite good. Ghosts, number 18. Oh, another copy of number 18. Number 20. Do you dare enter the House of Mystery? This is number 178. Is this a Bernie Wrightson cover, possibly? But um, I have this bookmarked to look through here, I guess. Joe Orlando, opening page. Who would this be? Oh, I think there's Alex Toth, right? Or Alex Toth. Maybe. Yeah, some of these are really good. I really like these, uh, like, Witching Hour, or sorry, <laughs> House of Mystery. Yeah, 12 cent cover price, that's getting to the good stuff. Uh, House of Mystery number 181 with a 15 cent cover price. House of Mystery number 182, number 186, I have this bookmarked for a reason too, I guess. 
Is this Alex Toth? I know one of them in here is. Some Sergio Aragon is there, I think, too. Maybe this isn't... <laughs> you know what? It was Witching Hour that was Toth, but these have some, like, nice, uh, nice horror art, too. I like, like, a low number of panels on a page. <laughs> I will admit, it's pretty nice sometimes. House of Mystery number... Where does it say here? Well, that's a Wrightson cover. Or I'll eat my hat. House of Mystery number 196. Number 197. 202. That must be a Kaluta cover. 219. House of Secrets, number 85, 15 cent cover price. That's probably like a good condition. Uh, number 90. A dollar each for these? Hell yeah, dude. Um, 108. 111. Some Frank Thorne era Red Son- or sorry, this Marvel feature presents Red Sonia, She-Devil with a Sword. So this would be, I think, the second appearance of Red Sonia in comics? Unless she was in Co um, Conan before. But I think Marvel feature presents Red Sonia is the first, if I'm not mistaken, right? Could be wrong. Marvel feature presents Red Sonia, number 5. Marvel's Greatest Comics, number 37. Some reprints of the uh, Jack Kirby Fantastic Four, number 39. Number 42. Just kind of like getting a whole set of these together. 43. 45. I have this bookmark just to take a quick look. Stop and smell the roses once in a while, right? Look at in the interiors once in a while. Yeah, good old Kirby Fantastic Four. Marvel's Greatest Comics, number 46. Number 47. <laughs> Let's look at this big contraption here. That's classic. Edgar Allan Poe's Morella and the Murders in the Rue Morgue. Some uh, Richard Corbin adaptations of Edgar Allan Poe. This one's like not bad, I'd say. Not as not as best, but not bad. Corbin can never really be bad. Nick Fury, Agent, Agents of Shield, number five. The Phantom Stranger, number three. So, I'm not too familiar with this series, but early on, is it an anthology series? One or two issues I saw that were in that format were pretty good, but I I saw a later issue that wasn't anymore. The Phantom Stranger, number seven. Number 11, Red Sonia, number 2, or that Frank Thorne. Number 3, number 4, some doubles, so upgrades are for the for sale or friends bin. Again, with the same with these. Frank Miller's Ronin, book 3, book 4. Secrets of Sinister House, number 7, more DC horror anthology. Michael Kluda. Secrets of Sinister House, number 14. Who did this painted cover? Sword of Solomon Kane. I kind of like this old Marvel Solomon Kane stuff. You got some Mike Mignola on here too, and I think... Who else? Milgram, maybe? And maybe Pika or Craig Russell? I, I kind of forget. It's going back years, but finally, um, going to read these in completion. So there's number one. Number two. Number three. Is this the Sinkovich cover? I think so, yeah. Number four, some kind of early Mike Mignola. Number five. And number six, the final issue of that mini. Okay, early Marvel Tales. Uh, a nice way to read some old Spider-Man and Human Torch, stuff like that. It looks like it also has Tales to Astonish and Journey into Mystery. Some old Thor and Wasp by the looks of it. 
That's Marvel Tales number seven. Some more Kirby, 2001 A Space Odyssey number four. Number five. Have we looked through this one before? Yeah. Some wacky stuff. Two Fisted Tales, number 34. I don't know where. This is a weird printing of EC because $1 cover price. This doesn't look like. These aren't like the 90s reprints. They're not the Je or Gladstone or Gemstone or whatever that's called ones either, I don't think. Okay. Um, weird War Tales, number 13. Cool to get some low numbers of these. Number 15. Number 17. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, I guess, is just good to very good, depending. Um, they're all, like, complete and not, like, loose on the spine or anything, but you can see they, a lot of them have, like, some ticks and stuff, so... Yeah, I don't know. I think I still got a good value, right? Um, Weird War Tales number 18, number 19, number 22, especially with that Strange Adventures, I think that might be the best. 26, 38... This is Kubert? Yeah. These might be some value too, because I think these are early um, appearances of Jonah Hex. Some of the, like, I don't know, third appearance maybe or something like that around Weird Western Tales number 13. Okay, here's that tote. That, this is what I was remembering. This is Witching Hour number 11. This is good stuff here. I'm not a huge fan of the later Witching Hours that I've read. They get, they're kind of like too... I was going to say stupid, but maybe I'll just be nice and say silly. <laughs> but uh, these early ones are good. More more like that kind of demonic, um, witch, witchy kind of satanic stuff that was kind of um, like good 60s and 70s horror. This is a good story. Nice Dark Shadows model kit ad there, too. Might showcase this a little later, we'll see. Uncanny X-Men number 198. 236. 258. 269. This is some cool Jim Lee art on this. This is really classic. That'll get your blood flowing when you're a young guy <laughs> finding this comic. That rogue looks so wicked. Yeah, it's more of that Savage Lance rogue. X-Men number 30, the marriage of Cyclops and Jean Grey issue. Okay, so that was that garage sale. Let me know how, how you think I did. Again, about a dollar each for those, maybe slightly less. Um, yeah, I think that might be <clears throat> best up there for garage sale scores for me. The other one had, like, a lot of fun stuff to read, too, but maybe this one is more, um, has more, like, monetary value per dollar spent. I don't know. You know, it's not all about that for me. To me, it's finding good writing and art, but, uh, I think we did good on both fronts, right? Okay, so this next little batch I have is from a little comic, uh, con. Yeah, this was just from like a little itty bitty comic con that was kind of, I want to say it was like a school gym or at a flea market or something. It's a long time ago, so I kind of forget. But uh, this is too small to make its own video, so just going to include it here. This is yeah, some years ago. Batman Full Circle, Mike Barr and Alan Davis, inking by Mark Farmer. So this might be good, too. I like Alan Davis and Mark Farmer. Elvira's House of Mystery, number eight. For some reason, these are priced like pretty high, so... Finding it cheaper is cool. Um, House of Mystery, I guess, stopped being its own title and became Elvira's House of Mystery for uh, a number of issues. I think it's only like eight issues or so, maybe ten or some. X-Men Grand Design, number one. Solomon Kane, number six. These are from like a 50 cent or quarter bin. Namor, number one. That kind of classic. He gave me these for free, these wizard magazines. Wizard Magazine issue 19. Bart Sears Wolverine there. J. Lee Youngblood on, on here. Wizard Magazine number 21. 21. Aliens vs. Predator Duel number 2. 
The Mask Strikes Back. I think this is John Arcudi and Doug Monk, who I liked on that Alien Stronghold series as well, so... I think he gave me a bunch of these for free, actually. A bunch of these, like, loose-bagged ones. Um, House of Mystery, number 318. New Mutants, number 94. Computer, com, trying to get all that uh, Liefeld run just for the hell of it. This is... I guess this is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. This is a dollar, because it's got no cover, but... It's fun to read that early Jack Kirby stuff. Sabretooth, number four. Uncanny X-Force, number eight. Just completing that series, number nine. X-Men Annual number 5, Uncanny X-Men 156, number 207 of Uncanny X-Men, bit of an iconic cover, number 231, Classic X-Men number 8, maybe a double, Fantasy Masterpieces starring the Silver Surfer number 3, cool um, Mephisto cover there, I'm guessing it's Buscema, is that right? John Bishop, John Bishop, I think. Maybe Sal. I, I'm a little bit uh, unfamiliar with Sal. A dollar for Jack Kirby's The Eternals, number four. I'll buy that by golly for a dollar. You know. Marvel Tales, number 132, starring Spider Man. And lastly, Uncanny X Men 178. So, yeah, just a quick video here, guys. Just um, getting through some stuff because I want to file it, showcase stuff, and. Uh, come out with some more uh, videos and stuff. So not very in-depth today, but uh, uh, we're just like getting on through, getting on down. So thanks for watching. Like and comment if you uh, if you so like to. It's always appreciated. And I uh, always like to uh, talk comics and stuff with you guys, hear what you guys have to say. So thanks for watching and all that. All right, take care and hope you find some cool stuff out there too. Till next one.